If you're looking for a super affordable winch capable of pulling a whole bunch of weight, then you might want to consider the Barricade 12,000 pound option that we're talking about here today. Now the Barricade is going to pack everything needed to get up and running on your F-150, including 94 feet of steel line for right around 350 bucks. Install will depend on your mounting situation for your 97 and newer F-150, so therefore the site's just gonna play this one safe, guys. Call it two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter in about an hour or so from start to finish. But if you hang out with me for a little bit, we'll show you a little bit more about the install later in the video. I've said this a bunch of times and I'll say it again, a winch is a virtual lifeline for you and your truck in the event you ever get stuck on your own, whether in the mud, snow, sand, or maybe even high centered on a rock or an obstacle off-road. Now, if you're wheeling with your buddies and they get stuck, well, then your winch might just help pull them out of trouble and lead to a free few beers for you guys later down the road. Whatever the case, guys, a winch like this is going to be a very valuable thing to throw on your truck if you do a lot of off-roading, put your truck in tough situations, or ever need some help around the yard for some utility type purposes. But enough about all that, again, the barricade we are featuring here in this video is gonna be the big boy 12,000 pound option with the steel line, which I know will have its pros and we all know will have its cons. The pros are the fact that the steel line will be extremely durable, which makes it not only good for recovery use, but again, going back to that utility stuff, if you want to clear a few trees or maybe rocks from the trail or your yard, you're not gonna have to worry about this steel line getting frayed on you as easily as a synthetic line. Now, the steel will also be a bit better at long-term durability and won't be affected by UV rays such as that synthetic line might as well. Now the cons on the other hand will be the fact that steel is not only a good bit heavier than synthetic but can also store a lot more energy which in the event of a potential failure can be a bit dangerous. Steel can also rust over time and will also get beat up after a few more years of use which eventually can lead to burrs or splinters which is why it's always recommended to use a burly pair of gloves whenever pulling or handling a steel line. Now, ultimately, guys, it will be up to you to determine which line and material will be best for your setup in your truck. And if you have more questions about this, there are countless articles online about this very issue. But line material aside, this particular winch from Barricade is again rated at 12,000 pounds. And the general rule of thumb here, guys, is that ideally you'd like to have a winch capable of pulling up to two and a half times the weight of your truck. Now, obviously that's not something everyone is going to stick to, and there will be some space limitations on some winch bumpers out there. For instance, some bumpers might only support a 10,000 pound winch. Whatever the case, read the fine print and just know that two and a half times the weight of your truck is generally what you wanna shoot for when grabbing a winch for your truck. But as far as your components are concerned with the barricade and accessories, well, up front, again, you are receiving 94 feet of that steel cable. 2364 to be exact is your diameter with the 12,000 pound option. You're also looking at a four-way roller fair lead and removable hook, which is something I really like because if you wanted to make the switch to a closed winch style system, like from Factor 55 or something like that, you totally have that option and this would be very easy to remove. You are also getting a wired remote here, guys. This is not wireless, but wired remote, 12 feet of wiring or lead on that wire and then last but not least your control box in addition to all of the wiring needed to get up and running. Now the guts of the 12,000 pounder are going to include a 6.6 .6 horsepower 12 volt electric motor with a 187 2 to 1 ratio which can pull a line speed of roughly seven and a half feet per minute at full capacity. You'll also see this little switch on the winch here, guys, and this is basically your clutch handle to allow you to go between free spool mode, basically pull line a lot quicker than you would be with the engage mode, and basically walking the line out slowly with the remote. The winch itself, as you can see, has been finished off in a satin black powder coat here, gang, prevent any corrosion over the years. And last but not least, this is kind of important, will require the use of a battery capable of 650 cold cranking amps, but most trucks like the F-150 are gonna have that without issue. Finally, the Barricade does maintain a standard winch footprint here, gang. So it's gonna bolt up to a majority of aftermarket winch plates or winch bumpers without issue. But I go back to just make sure you double check the bumper 
plate, whatever, and check for not only weight requirements, but also size requirements. Because a lot of times these bumpers, it's not necessarily that they can't handle the weight, it's more of the size of the winch itself. And the 12,000 pounder is gonna be a little bit larger than say a 9,500 pounder. So again, just make sure you check that out before pulling the trigger. But now enough talking, what do you say we talk about that install or show you the install, I should say, a little bit more in depth. So without further ado, here's a detailed walkthrough for you guys in addition to a quick little tool breakdown. Tools required for this install, a pair of side cutters, a 3 8 drive with an extension, a good socket set ranging from eight millimeters all the way up to 18, a 14 millimeter wrench and a 16 millimeter wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, optional is gonna be this air ratchet and impact. So I just wanted to give you guys a starting point of where we're at before we start wiring up our winch and mounting things to this bumper. What we have here is a barricade extreme heavy duty front bumper with that winch plate and that's able to carry up to a 12,000 pound winch which is plenty for what we're about to install. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started off with our wiring. Now this is your control box here and the standard way to mount the control box would be to be right on top of that winch. And then we would take our wires here and mount them up to our motor. However, with our Ford, we're gonna be running into a little bit of a clearance issue when we slide that bumper cover over our Barricade Extreme Heavy Duty winch plate. So what they supplied us with, what is a bracket? And this bracket is going to mount to the passenger side frame rail right behind that winch plate. And it already has holes cut out for it. So what that is for is the bottom of this control box. So we're gonna take the feet off of this. Save this hardware as well. We're gonna bring in the bracket for our control box. Get our hardware back in there and started. All right. Now when you flip this back around, this is actually gonna sit on the frame rail like that and these wires will go to our motor. Let's go ahead and get this mounted to the frame, and then we'll get the winch mounted as well. So we have our control box mounted to our bracket here. What we're gonna do is find the spot on our frame with this hole, put my bolt through, slip it down into place here. I'm gonna stick my hand through the frame rail and get my washer and nut started on the inside of the frame. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten up this control box now. All right, what we're gonna do now is bring our winch into place. We're just gonna set it down on our winch plate. Next up, we're gonna wire it up. And you're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench for that. All right, so what we're gonna do first to wire it up is actually bring our new ground cable in. This is gonna be the ground that goes all the way from the bottom of the winch to the ground on our battery. So let's flip the winch on its side here and expose this bottom terminal. Now these are finger tight, so we're gonna take the washers and the nut off, put that ground cable on there, and the really small gauged ground for your control box. Let's get those washers back on. And then I have a ratcheting 14 mil that I'm just going to tighten it up with. Make sure those are nice and tight. So you have a good connection. Flip the winch back over. And then the top ones are really easy because they're just color coded. So let's get those in place. Starting with the red. and the power to our control box here. And again, we're just gonna tighten these up with our 14 mil. And 
All right. We're going to slide our covers over just to protect it from any corrosion. Now with the wiring of the winch complete, what we're going to do now is find a clear path to run our power and ground straight to our battery. Now we're going to peel back this flap here and expose a nice little area between our radiator support and our headlight. So we're just going to snake this up, grab the ground there, put that off to the side. Yeah. Alright, you're going to want to make sure that these are away from anything that's very hot or any moving parts. So we're just gonna stick these up here for right now. So what you're gonna see right here is a little piece of tape and behind that tape is actually the square nut. And that nut is gonna be centric to that part and it's gonna keep the nut in there. So we're, let's go ahead and get underneath and run our bolts through. All right, now we have our 16 millimeter bolts with a lock washer and nut. And I do have a good suggestion for you. If you can't find your nuts, what I like to do is stick a Phillips head screwdriver in there and just line those nuts up so they're good to go. I'm just gonna start a few threads here and then finish it off with my impact. Now this is a barricade bumper, so this barricade winch will mount right up to it, no problem. So what we're going to do next is mount our Fairlead up to our barricade bumper to match our barricade winch. It's a 16 millimeter bolt in the front and a 17 millimeter nut on the back. Just going to start that so it stays. I'm just going to get a wrench on the front, tighten it up on the back. All right, now with the help of a buddy, I've got Rob over here. We're gonna pick up this bumper. It is a little heavy, it's about 120 pounds. And we're gonna line it up to our winch plate here. So it's important to note that we do have our hardware staged. All right, now I'm going to tighten up our bumper. I'm using an air ratchet with an 18 mil for these nuts. So what we're going to do now is get our winch line through our fair lead. So I have a piece of heavy gauge wire here and I'm just going to get it through the eye of my line and then bring it back through the fair lead. All right, so there's our wire and the eye of our line. And I just have a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm just going to get my wire through. And then I'm going to bring up a pair of side cutters and cut the zip tie securing our line. Now with that, I can set this to free spool, start pulling some of my cable through. go. Engage my drive here. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and install our hook onto the eye of our winch cable. I have the pin here. We're just going to drop it in, flip it around, and my cotter pin is going to go in the bottom. Slip it in. Our needle nose, pull the rest of the way through. and then we'll separate them to make sure that pin's not gonna fall out. All right, now we can wire it up and bring our winch cable back in. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and connect the positive and negative side of our winch to the battery. I'll start with the positive. I was always taught the positive kid comes to class first, and the negative kid comes second. So, let's go ahead and get a 10 millimeter, and there's a couple of accessories that we can use here. We're just gonna use this one. that back over, start our nut, get that 
cover back over. Now we can put the slack right down here, get a zip tie, make sure it's out of the way. We'll do that in a minute here. Let's go ahead and get our negative side on. As you can see, I have my trim back on. I have my headlights all in. Now what I'm gonna do is pop open my hood and expose my control box. Everything's wired up. Now all I have to do is connect my remote. And there is a little tab. So we'll just go ahead and plug this up. We're gonna grab the uh, winch and go out with it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go in with it. Holding a little bit of tension. I'm gonna set my hook up like that. And that's not moving anywhere. And we're gonna disconnect this. Put our protective cover back on, shut our hood. So one of the deciding factors when buying a winch or a bumper is clearance. You may notice that the clutch handle for our winch is very close to our body, but it will disengage that clutch and we can sw swivel it back into place here and re-engage it and suck that rope back in. That's gonna wrap up my install of the Barricade 12,000 pound winch for your F-150. And for all things truck, keep it here at americantrucks.com.